What's up guys? So we're back in the garage again. Looks like I went ahead and made the first purchase of this entire build. It's a little propane canister. It was approximately like I think like 16 bucks. I'll put the exact total down here at the bottom right for you. And the thousand dollars is from the trailer itself. So here's plans. Looks like according to the math can cover about roughly 76 square feet with the trailer tile that I have so I'm gonna be putting that in the tip of the nose underneath the bed try and work with that tile I have it sort of climb up some of the banisters of the bed as well it'll be really cool and then we'll do the rest in shell Sugibon now I am debating just go ahead and using this little pallet bed that one of my buddies made a long time ago he painted over it though with a kills paint which prevents mold which is awesome but it doesn't look fit the aesthetic that I'm going for so I'm gonna do a Shaosugi bond board across the front and framing it basically and just save a lot of time on the bed frame build now other than that got the materials here to try out we're going to go ahead and see what it is like and do a full char with a clear coat over the top for like maybe a backsplash for the kitchen if area if there is anything like that as well as I'm going to try out this weathered gray wood stain it would be really pretty well yeah all you need a couple of paint brushes one's better if you need to get in between cracks uh, stainless steel brush now a lot of people use nickel and copper and stuff like that for this but me personally I've been told that this is the best way to go do some research on it if you want to check out different methods and stuff like that before trying these the Shao Sugibon out because there is actually quite a bit to it I will go ahead and leave a couple of links of different videos that I've used they're very knowledgeable down in the description so go ahead and check out their channel if you want get this tile from my buddy and it actually looks like some of it is not as colorful as I thought so it is a lot of black and as you can tell that is some beautiful beautiful tile but I'm thinking that it may work to our advantage so that this room is not too colorful doesn't just look like a unicorn just puked all over my goddamn room. And maybe bring in some black into that rainbow aesthetic that we're looking for. I hate this place. Quick request for you guys. So I have about 176 square feet that still needs to be covered inside of the trailer. If you guys have any suggestions on good ways to be able to cover a good amount of area for cheap, you know, penny floors, stuff like that, even like an epoxy that you have used in the past, please leave it in the comments down below. I'd appreciate that. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little video here explaining to you the process of Shaosugi Bon and see what you guys think use any other different techniques any different type of brushes let me know down below i'd like to know what type of things you guys use if you're proficient at it as well as this is going to be my first time trying it so cross your fingers we'll see how it goes what's up guys let's get this going so in the instructions that i have watched online dude said to have a bottle of like like a mister of water available in case of accidents. I don't have that, but I got this. So safety first. Bring it down to a small flame. In the first pass, we're just going to be burning that soft wood tissue to try and just lightly glaze upwards 
along the grain. Now, as you can see, this wood grain starting to show up a little bit more. And I'm just taking my time going up and down the entire board. Spend extra time on those knots if you see any. Don't be afraid to burn them. You'll see a little bit of sap coming up. That's okay. And then the second pass, we're just going to torch that wood until we see that flame. Now this is the portion that you would need the actual Mr. Four, but I'm not going to hold it too long on any one point of surface. We should be just fine. And get that entire board. And set it down safely. Watch the flame, make sure it doesn't fucking hit you. And shut it off. Okay, now. You can see here, pretty dark. May take a moment to cool off, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our still brush and scrape with the grain of the wood. This should bring off any of that soft wood that we burned at first and it should leave the hard wood that got scorched the second time around with that longer pass. So in other words, we're scraping away the soft wood and leaving behind the hard wood as it is still black underneath. And that creates a really, really cool, interesting look zebra effect. This is also a really good way of waterproofing and fireproofing your home. It's a quick tip for you guys. Most people do this where they just do a quick pass over it and they just burn the soft wood and they don't bother to do this second pass and burn that hardwood which is actually a longer lasting form of doing this shall soon be gone. Now, it's really up to you of what works better, but I'll go ahead and put some images up here on the screen for you so you can check them out and judge it of your own will. But as you can see here, this little knot is being a pain in the ass. Don't be afraid to cook that hard in there. What you're doing is you're burning that hardwood layer and a knot is basically just concentrated form of that hardwood. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape this once more again. See here, fully charred. So with that grain. As you can see right now, I don't know how well you guys can pick that up, but there's already quite a bit of grain coming out. To see in that wood. I went ahead and did another pass on this other side. We'll go ahead and scrape that off again as well. Take a look at what it looked like in comparison to before.
Well guys, that's everything for today. Um, if you like this video, leave a like. And I will stain this piece of wood tonight, leave it to sit overnight, and make a video as a follow-up. Let you guys know what it looks like tomorrow. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment box below. Alright, peace out guys. Until next time. Let's go ahead and get this going. Uh, hopefully better than that.